Welcome to Tech Talk Central. I'm Nathan. And I'm Sarah. Today, we're diving into the world of 3D printing. Yep, specifically looking at two really popular FDM printers, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini and the Allego Neptune 3 Pro. Right, FDM, that's where it melts plastic filament layer by layer, the most common type you see around. Exactly. And you've been asking us to kind of cut through the marketing buzz, figure out which one might be right for you, especially if you want the key info fast. So our mission today is basically to boil it down to the essentials. Let's uh, jump right in. Okay, let's start with the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. What's the deal with this one? Price-wise, we're looking at around $399. Yeah, about that. And what's really striking is its focus on, well, ease of use and speed. Speed, right. Yeah. I saw numbers like 500 millimeters max speed. That sounds uh, incredibly fast. It is. And the acceleration 10,000 millimeters set is also, you know, way up there. It means prints can be seriously quick. Plus, they promise a setup in like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. How? Yeah. Does it like assemble itself? Huh. Not quite. But it has full auto calibration. That's the key. Full auto calibration. Okay. Break that down. What does that actually do for someone starting out? Well, it handles things like Z offset, getting that nozzle distance just right, and bed leveling, which is crucial for the first layer sticking properly. You know, the stuff that usually trips beginners up. Right, the fiddly bits. Exactly. And it even has active flow rate compensation. So it like adjusts the plastic flow on the fly for more consistent prints. Hmm. Clever. And a huge selling point, multicolor printing, though you do need that extra unit, the AMS light, for that. Oh, uh, okay. So multicolor isn't standard, but it's an option. Correct. And people seem to love the app, the Bamboo Handy app. You can control things, download prints, even watch it printing remotely with the camera. It's pretty slick. And it's meant to be quiet, too, under 48 dB. Yep. Relatively quiet. Most users call it foolproof. Great for beginners. But um, it's fair to say we have seen a few reports mentioning extruder issues or maybe finding support a bit tricky sometimes. So not perfect, but generally very user-friendly, sounds like the takeaway. I think that's fair. The experience is generally very smooth. Okay, so that's the Bamboo A1 Mini, premium features, higher price point. But what if uh, the budget's a bit tighter? Let's pivot to the Allego Neptune 3 Pro. Right, the Neptune 3 Pro. Price-wise, it's often around, what, $210 for Prime members, maybe $250 otherwise. Significantly cheaper. Yeah, big difference. What do you get for that price? Well, first off, a noticeably larger print volume. We're talking 225 by 225 by 280 millimeters, so bigger objects. Okay, more space to print. And it features a dual-gear direct extruder. That basically means it grips the filament better, feeds it more reliably. Good for different materials like PLA, TPU, PTG even ABS. So more material flexibility potentially. Potentially, yeah. And it has these dual synchronized lead screws on the Z-axis that helps keep everything stable as it moves up, especially on taller prints. Less wobble, cleaner results. Interesting. And it also claims to be quiet around 47, 48 dB, similar to the bamboo. Yeah, they aim for quiet operation too. And like the bamboo, it comes mostly pre-assembled, which is nice. It also has auto bed leveling. Okay, auto leveling is good. All right. But I remember you saying user feedback was a bit mixed there. Right. Some users find the auto leveling works great. Others say it might need a little manual tweaking to get it perfect. Same with overall print quality consistency. Mostly good, but maybe not quite as effortlessly perfect as the bamboo sometimes. So it's capable, but maybe needs a little more uh, hands-on attention sometimes. That could be one way to put it. It's a fantastic value, a real workhorse, but maybe less set it and forget it than the A1 Mini. Yeah. Also, connectivity, it's USB or a TF card. No built-in Wi-Fi, though there is an Ethernet port. Okay, no Wi-Fi out of the box. Good okay. to know. So let's try and sum this up for someone trying to choose. Okay. You've got the Bamboo A1 Mini, more expensive, smaller build volume, but super fast, packed with automation, multicolor capable with the add-on, mm -hmm. and generally very easy to use, right? Almost plug and play. Yeah, if top speed, ultimate ease of use, and multicolor are your absolute priorities, and you have the budget, the A1 Mini is uh, really compelling, especially for a beginner who wants things to just work. Then you've got the Allego Neptune 3 Pro. Much lower price, bigger build volume, still has auto leveling and direct drive, capable of great prints. But it might require a bit more learning, maybe some fine tuning from the user. Yeah. Less automated, no easy multicolor path, no built-in Wi-Fi. It's more of a traditional but very capable workhorse printer for the price. So it really boils down to budget versus automation and features, doesn't it? Yeah. And how much tinkering you're willing to do. Exactly. Do you pay more for the highly automated, fast, potentially multicolor experience in a smaller package? 
Or do you save money, get a larger print area, and accept you might need to be a bit more involved in getting things dialed in perfectly? It's that classic trade-off. Yeah. Convenience and advanced features versus cost and maybe a bit more user input. Precisely. Your own priorities, what you want to print, how much you want to spend, and how much you enjoy tweaking will really guide that decision. Well, hopefully this deep dive gave you a much clearer picture of these two uh, really impressive printers. Yeah, they're both strong contenders in their own ways. And hey, to find the latest prices and maybe catch a deal on either the Lego Neptune 3 Pro or the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, definitely check out the links we've put in the description below. Absolutely. And if this chat helped you out, please do subscribe to Tech Doc Central. We'll be back with more deep dives into the tech you care about.